welcome back to another video. So today I will be taking a look at the Major Mania add-on. So yeah, it took a little bit of a break, um, because I did like a double upload on Halloween. Um, uh, and the they both actually did better than I thought. I thought like uploading them both at the same time would uh, basically cannibalize the views. And while one of them certainly is doing better than the other, both of them are doing fit. Neither of them like doing bad for my, uh, uh for like what a, a video on my channel usually does. Um, I'm just gonna move you a little bit, but yeah. Took a little bit of a break, recharged my batteries, and yeah, I'm back to do another add-on review. So this is like another like mage spellbook add-on. Now, I, I like magic and like Harry Potter and all that kind of stuff. So, but uh, we, like there have been some cool spell like add-ons, but none of them's really been that good. So hopefully this will be an exception to it, that. So we've got these different classes of, uh, uh, you know, magic. We've got necromancy, storm, chronomancer. So I think that's like uh, machines. From the look at that. Well, I thought that was tech. No, is it? I don't know. Anyway, bog witch, dragon mage, and ice mage. So let's start with necromancer. The Necromancer controls death and darkness. Wearing pieces from this set gives you a uh, damaging aura, un underwater breathing, and less hunger in the dark. So you got the helmet, chest plate, leggings, boots. You got the scythe, dog, and the uh, collectibles. So helmet. Place bone, torture soul, bone in the top row, torture soul. Okay, so that's not very helpful. Oh, and the game decided I just wanted to kill a few frames. Anyway, net crew, all. N E C R O. Yeah, that's why I put N E C. Uh, oh, you can't craft it. Hold on. Uh, through these pages, you can navigate how to create different uh, kinds of magic items. There are six different uh, sets of clothing, each representing a type of wizard that you'll uh, find uh, the items needed to craft the clothing across the world and assemble them to craft it in the crafting bench. Yeah, but... What? Yeah, huh? yeah, that right. Yeah, here there's necromancer helmet. But when I search it in here, there's nothing. Weird. See so yeah, a necromancer helmet. She it's a diamond helmet, four bones, and four tortured souls. I don't know where you get tortured souls from. The book might explain that later. Oh. Oh, let me check the uh, collectibles page because that might be where. Uh, Eye of Darkness can drop from zombies and skeletons. Withering Soul can drop from a wither. Tortured Souls can be dropped from piglins, ghasts, and hoglins. So, yeah, for the necromancer stuff, you are going to have to go to the Never. So yeah, let's see Necromancer Helmet with the Necromancer, here we go, Necromancer Chest Plate, Four Bones, and Neverite Inga, that's quite expensive, Diamond Chest Plate, Soul Lantern, and Two Withering Souls, so you have to kill the Wither to get uh, that, the uh, Chest Plate, Leggings, Four Soul Lanterns, Diamond Leggings, Four Bone Blocks, that's quite cheap. And Necromancer Boots, Boots, Eye of Darkness, and Boons. Uh, the Eye of Darkness, they dropped from zombies, didn't they? Dropped from zombies and skeletons. Yeah, so you can get Eye of Darkness quite easily. Uh, well, depending on how common it is, it doesn't tell tell you how common. So, game mode one. Why does it appear here, but not there? When I'm weird. 
I think there's a it, it's a bit buggy. Drains life force. So drains life force. Breathe from the water once you got two sets, and once you got the entire set, you get cold flesh, which gives you resistance, and dark feast. Darkness feeds you. So you got resistant. Oh, but it gives you hunger in the daylight. Yeah, it makes you hungry if it's if you're in the light. But can we find somewhere that's dark? Can't. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we could have been very strong hunger if I ran all that way in the light, and then it did, yeah. But yeah, in the darkness, you don't get hunger. Now hold on, if I place a torch down at my feet, will it give me hunger? No, why did it give me hunger then? Yeah, one power you get nothing. Two power to get water breathing. And not water breathing, you get an aquatic oil and on the breathing. Oh yeah, breathe on the water. Yeah, and then you have four. Why did I get hunger randomly then? Ow. Ow. Uh, now, it'd be it's uh, like giving you saturation when you're in the darkness. That's a uh, cool uh, effect, and I've not seen anything like that uh, before. So, yeah, that's really cool and unique. I'm just not quite, sh quite sure about that hunger. I think it might have been... Also, Wonderworld breathing is really cool. It kind of makes sense because uh, drowned are undead and they breathe underwater. So, it makes sense that uh, if you have, like, the... Abilities of undead mobs and you can't drown. Um, I guess what would also be cool is if undead mobs no longer like targeted you because you're the like necromancer, so they just like, oh, they, they just like see you as like their master or something, and then they like I would attack mobs that attack you. So, say, so say I was like, I had like a skeleton and zombie with me, I got attacked by a vindicator, the skeleton and zombie would attack the vindicator for attacking me. Yeah, you do get... Okay, hunger in daylight. Yeah, that's definitely not good. Because while be getting saturation from the darkness is kind of decent, it, the getting hunger in daylight, yeah, that, that is kind of bad. Because then if you're, like, running around the world and you're just going to get... Constantly be getting hungry, so, that, that, so then periodically you're going to have to stop... Are you going to have to... You can either gonna have to take a lot of food and they be yeah, eating a lot, or just stop after a bit, dig a dig a hole, place a block above you, and uh, then yeah. Hold on, did I forget to turn these on? No. Ah, it's just not connecting to the computer. That's why I can't hear anything. But yeah, that is too much of a downside, in my opinion. Now, you could always take the set off if you're, uh, you know, if you're uh, walking around in the daylight. Uh, but it, it would be really good, like, if you're exploring at night, because then you don't have to worry about your hunger. Uh, it's just, yeah, uh, just... I really don't like the hunger be being given you to, to you during the day. Uh, that could definitely be removed, and I think it wouldn't make it too overpowered. And you don't really want to be carrying around multiple sets of armor with you if you want to be exploring during the day. And also, exploring during the night is dangerous because there's lots of mobs like skeletons and zombies, which again, the uh, undead, like it uh, making undead uh, mobs. Uh, not hostile towards you would be if you have the full set would be really cool um 
And I also I think this could be the effects will be cha changed a bit more. So like um, the like each individual piece gave you this specific effect. So like the helmet will give you the uh, breathing in underwater. The uh, leggings could give you the drain life force. The boots could give you the cold flesh, and then the, the uh, chest plate will give you the that uh, at the dark feast and then if you had the entire set on uh you'd get uh, then uh undead mobs will not attack you i think that would be cool i don't know if they could do that i'm not saying that's definitely something they could do but i'm saying that if they could do it it would be cool uh also can you yeah they can be enchanted Would help if I would. Yeah, they can all be, be enchanted. So I'm going to assume that every armor piece can be enchanted. Uh, next up is the Necromancer's Scythe. So I guess it'll be in here on the swords. Necromancer Scythe. It's two Eye of Darkness, which drop from the uh, skeletons and zombies, four bones, a diamond, and two sticks. So let me get myself one of these. So it does six attack damage. Uh, Raise on dead when when you summon a bloat golem. Ah, oh, yeah, you don't press an all, you just right click. Yeah. Okay, at least you don't destroy anything. Yeah, when someone gets near them, they explode. They're basically zombie creepers. Now, I would change this up and, um, uh, to make it to summon zombies and skeletons, uh, friendly zombies and skeletons. Again, uh, the, if, if you get the like, entire armor set to make it so that uh, zombies and skeletons don't attack you, uh, then you could just summon normal ones, but I think you could just, like, summon, like, uh, you could just, like, create zombies and skeletons. I just add hostile towards player, and uh, uh and uh, yeah, because right now I really wouldn't uh, craft this for this ability. I mean, uh, I mean, like maybe because they just like summon when. Hold on, let me summon a vindicator. Some wind. So we've got a vindicator. I right click this. Okay, so they do go after the. Uh, they do go after hostile mobs, so that's decent. Doesn't appear to be doing to do much damage though, even after exploding. Like that's was that that's three of them now that did it. A fourth one. And he did. Okay, so hold on. One, two. Okay, so they do do damage because he only had two HP left. Uh, let's see if he can enchant this. Yes, yeah, so I'm also going to assume that all the uh, all the weapons can also be enchanted. Yeah, and it, uh. Yeah, sharpness. So with sharpness, it does twelve attack damage. So you could just like, uh, let's get Vinny back in here. Just hit, uh, summon the guy in. Where the hell did he summon? Okay, the summoning, the summoning really needs reworking. I have them like summoned knit closer to the player. Like, yeah, he was summoned all the way over there. Yeah, there's someone in the weeds where it needs to be working. 
And again, this could that could work really well if it's like if you're summoning some zombies and skeletons, because you just summon them next to the player, and then they'll just like lock onto the enemy and just attack them. Yeah. Uh, then there was that skeleton dog, wasn't it? Uh, necromancer items, the skeletal dog. So let's get game mode zero. Skele skeletal spawn skeletal dog. It's two eyes of darkness uh, for three six bones and a soul lantern. Game mode one. Skeletal dog. Boom. Yeah, so someone's tamed here, so I guess it's just like uh, a ske you know, skeleton, skelly dog. Punch. Yeah. Ah. Not very good. Okay, they finally got him. They're not very good. Can you heal them up with like uh what with what and flesh? No. Well no, let's read the book. Let's see what the book says about these skeletal hounds. To craft a skeleton dog spawn item. The skeletal dog can dig in spots and find you items. Well, that's going to be a pain in the butt. I can't. I don't know if I'm going to be. I'm going to take him for a bit of a walk and see if he sh if see if he wants to show that off. I don't. I didn't say that it had to be on like any specific blocks. Like, can he do it on moss? Can he do it on grass? Can he only? Can he only do it on grass? Can he do it like what blocks? Can he and can he not do it on? And how often does he do this? Okay, yeah, no. So, I, again, I would like to show this off, but, again, I don't know how exactly I'd be able to do that, because he's just not going to... He's, he's just going to dig when he wants to. And, like, the only way I can think of, of really showing this off is, like, spawning a ton of them and just waiting until one of them digs, and it's like, yeah... Now, I've got other things that need to be done today, and waiting around for a, dog, for a bunch of dogs to dig up some stuff is not on the list of them today. But if you know, uh, you know, uh, anything more about that, feel free to post it down in the comment section below, and I'll uh, pin your comment. But for now, we're moving on to the Storm Mage. They got the Storm Mage helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots, and a hammer, and a crow, and a mage collection. So, Spark Glands can be dropped from Iron Golems, Breezes, and Creepers. Hmm. So, they have an Iron Farm, you got a new item that you need to sort out. Uh, this set gives you. Tends to spawn a tornado when struck. Cool. Um, so let's go to game mode zero and show off the recipe for this. So they got the storm mage. So the helmet is. Sparking glands, wind charges, and the diamond helmet. The chest plate is a never eating it, lightning rod, sparking glands, wind charges, and a glowing ink sack with a diamond chest plate. Uh, leggings is echo shards. Yeesh. Uh, this better be pretty good because you want us to go to the most one of the most dangerous places in all of Minecraft to get this set. So you said glowing sacks and diamond leggings. 
Lightning rods, boots, stone booties, and sparkling glands. Alright, so uh once you get all of it you spawn tornado when hit, you attack faster. Uh, uh, haste. Does haste two actually does haste actually make you attack faster? Ah. Oh. Um, but yeah, let's uh, summon a Vindicator. Okay, yeah, probably not a good idea to do this on a Vindicator because he does way too much damage. Let's summon a... Hold on, let me go back to game mode 1 and I'm going to grab myself some gold in... Uh, in yeah. Chanted golden apples. Uh, time set mid night. Sun zombie. Oh, there we go, there's a... Uh, Did I hear F1? Why can I not see my hotbar? Like, my hotbar disappeared. Why is my hotbar gone? What? Why? Why can't I see my hotbar? Like, come on. What? Why? Why is my hotbar gone? This is annoying. What? Okay, I'll be right back once I figure out why my hot bar's gone. I'm just gonna try restarting Minecraft. Right, my hot bar's back. I have no idea why he decided to disappear. Anyway, uh, let's let's try that again. Uh, right, summon zom. Right, there you go. Someone's little tornado, it doesn't move, just stands there and it knocks back a bunch of uh, enemies in an AoE. I mean, it's pretty good if you're getting overwhelmed. Um, but it's not the greatest thing. Yeah, I can't really recommend crafting this set. Because the, the armor benefits just aren't good enough, basically. I mean, that's really all there is to it. The, the armor is just not... the, the uh, It's just not worth the effort of just going through to get all, you know, like the Echo Shards, the Neverite Ingot, and all the other stuff. Like, you'd be better off just... Uh, um, Game mood. Game mood. You'd just be better off going, up at, uh, going for one of the other uh, armor sets. So you don't need the armor to use any either of these two. So let's see if it. So it's, let's see if either of these two. Uh, the sparking one. Okay now. 
I don't know why they bothered to, uh, like this, like putting it, putting the crafting recipe in the book, uh, because it makes, it's just difficult to read. Right, so, what was the second one? Uh, storm. Oh, alright, this has a hammer. There we go. So yeah, uh, spark, four sparking lands, a diamond, and two lightning rods. Does six attack damage. When used, calls down lightning strikes. Oh, there you go, you have to... So you have to aim the other feet, click and hold until it comes down, so you can see that red circle's where it's gonna... Oh, and then you let go. So, with anything that summons lightning, I always have to check if it t changes a villager into a witch. Or... So if it does that, then you can make charge creeps and stuff. Really. Yeah, it does. So yeah, you can use this to get uh, witches and charged creepers. So that's uh, pretty useful. I always uh, I do always like it when they add the uh, Add a way you to get uh, witches and uh, uh, and oh, you could also get zombie uh, zombie pigmen from pigs. You know, just it's always good to get have another way of getting those guys easier. So next up with the crew. So game mode zero. Let's see how this is crafted. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven feathers, a lightning rod, and a, a sparking plan to uh, get the uh, storm crew. Oh, I need to stack up to 64. Name. Uh, why is the name so long? Um, four. <laughs> what? Yeah. So, what does the crew do? Uh, place feather on the by the way to craft the storm crow. Spawn. The storm crow can change the weather at will. Simply approach it and ask it nicely. Let's go to game mode zero, real quick. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So if you're in creative mode, you can like change its name and stuff. So you can like clear rain, thunder, follow, and stay. So you can have it rain. So yeah, now it's well. It's not raining. Oh, there we go. We can have it thunder. And you can clear the river. That's pretty cool. I do like him. He's quite a cool model. Oh, he's got a little spark for Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so he's cool. So yeah, the the only thing I don't like about that say is just the armor say itself. So yeah. Uh, what I would do with that is I change it up so uh, so that you get well the armor say just needs to be better. So it could you could. 
Uh, it could give you, if you have like one piece of armor, it'll give you speed. Uh, if you have two pieces of armor, it could give you, uh, it could give you haste two or maybe even haste three. Uh, and then if you have three bits of armor, uh, it could, uh, uh, I guess I could like strike, uh, if you get hit, you get, uh, there's a chance that, they, that the opponent gets struck by lightning. Whatever hits you get struck by lightning or something. Uh, but yeah, it just needs, the armor just needs to be better. Uh, or, um, or maybe, uh, one of the, uh, armor bonuses could be like you get, you can like get wind charges somehow. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, if you shift and right-click the ground with an empty hand or something. Uh, or maybe just, like, uh, or just, like, maybe with, like, a specific item, like a breeze rod. Then you get, like, a stack of, uh, wind charges or something. I don't know. But it just needs to be better. It's just too, it's just way too expensive. Especially with the, uh, one of them needing the four echo shards. So next up is the Chrono Master. Uh, can manipulate. Oh, Chrono, yes, Chrono as in time. Chrono Mancer. Rare pieces from this set gives you a uh, slowing or uh, makes you move faster and grants immunity to slowness. So you got the head, helmet, chest plate, leggings, boots, glove, and timekeeper. Chronomancer collectibles. The fractures can drop from endemans. Okay. So, what if I put in true? No, I'm gonna have to find any armor. Alright, so head, bog, dragon, ice mage, necromancer. Ah, here we go. Chronomancer helmet, two spy glasses, tying fragment, diamond helmet, never quartz. And then the chest plate, ice, necromancer, storm, chronomancer, two time fractures, a never writing gut blast, a blast furnace, four fire charges. Four clocks, four fire charges, and the diamond leggings. I'm surprised clocks aren't used more in this in these crafting in the crafting recipe for this. Chronomancer, four copper, four time fractures, and diamond booties. So let's go to game mode one and get and cheat these in. True. Helmet, chest plate, leggings, boots. So, if you have two pieces of armor, time delay emits nearby enemies nearby is nearby is slow. Four times at speedy, move faster. Four also gives you a bound, which is immune to slowness. Yeah, you can. Got like um, time wounds or whatever. Uh, time set day. So yeah, what uh, enemies nearby? So let's so let's some um, in here. Yeah, you can see from the particles that he is slow. So, game mode zero. Not super slow. So it is kind of balanced because you don't want to make them too slow. And make uh, the set to OP. So yeah, that's 
that's uh, pretty, that's fair saloon, that's, ow, uh, and I can't be slewed, so, uh, hold on, let me go to game of and get some slewness potions, Slew. Hey. Okay. So, what happens if you splash yourself with the Turtle Master? You just get the resistance, you don't get slowness. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and it says they remove the status. So, it's constantly removing uh, the slowness status effect. So, yeah, it's really cool that they can basically use the Turtle Master. And only get the resistance from it. That's really cool. And a unique uh, thing. Because I've not seen anything. That would, well. No. No. I don't want to say that. I, could have liked to do that. I think there's. There's like items they could use to remove negative status effects. They could also use. Use that for. Uh, but yeah. That's cool. Uh, let's check out the glove. No, I still want to be in zero. Glove. So it's two copper, four time fractures, a diamond, and two sticks. Does six of that attack damage. So time with to when invoking a mystical bubble that wraps Time it warps time itself. Those within are slowed to a crawl while the beast and the the plants rapidly aging. Oh, that's cool. So phase within a slowed. So yeah. So let's summon Vinny back in. So, oh yeah, he is really slow now. I think this is probably the best effect so far. It said like crops and stuff would grow faster, so I want to go over here. I seriously got zero seeds out of that. Wow. So I place that down and I do that. Oh yeah, you can see they are growing. So yeah, that's really cool. I was when I actually uh, saw this, I was, I was thinking I bet they're gonna add a way to like grow crops quickly, quickly. Because that's like one of the obvious ways of uh, way obvious like uh, abilities to give this uh, um, a set. So let's put you there. Does it work on trees? I don't think, I don't think it does work on these. <laughs> it also lasts a fair bit of time as well. So yeah, that, like, but yeah, I don't think it works on trees. Try over here on the grass. I don't think it's going to work, so... That is a little bit disappointing that it doesn't work on saplings, but oh well. Uh, I, uh, I do know that like all that add-ons have had uh, trouble applying similar effect growing effects to saplings, so I think that's just like a limitation of uh, you know add-ons right now. Maybe one day in the future, Mojangle uh, fit, you know fix that and give uh, that give add-on creators a way to. Uh, grow saplings and uh, fast. Yeah, that's really cool. I would definitely highly recommend making the glove. Uh, the glove. The armor set is pretty, yeah, it's decent. Like I said, slowing, uh, making them move slow is nice. Ma having speed is nice. Being immune to slowness isn't uh, isn't the greatest, but it's. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. So, so yeah. 
Uh, what would all, I, do, I don't know if it can do this, but what would also be cool is if it, like, aged, uh, you know, passive mobs quicker, so, and so, like, if you used in there some baby cows, it, they grow up quicker, basically. Or, um, uh, if, like, if while you were in the bubble, you would also heal faster, uh, but, would, but your hunger would also go down just as fast. I think that would also be cool. Yeah. On to the next set. Oh, wait. Is, is in, I think that was one more thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Timekeeper. Time. Four copper, two diamonds, a stick, a time fracture, and a clock. So, according to the book, the timekeeper, uh, the timekeeper can change the time of day. Simply ask, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of predictable. It's a big clock. There you can, it's, so, day, night, sunrise, sunset, follow, stay. So, no, oh, see, that's cool. It, 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 so, it doesn't just go, oh, at set time, midnight. It's actually, like, adding them. So, let's say it to, like, sunrise. That's really cool. Daytime. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Now, have our round in case you want it to be, in case you want to change the time of day, which is pretty cool, which is, which can be useful. So yeah, on to the next uh, one, which is the bog witch. Yeah, I should show you. So yeah, Bud Witch collectibles drop from spiders, slimes, frogs, and witches. Yeah, we saw one well, that drop from the witch area. Uh, oh. So that's storm final. Bog Witch, here we go. So it's four strange mushrooms, four warped fungi, and the diamond hammer. I would, ch I would change these up like uh, red mushrooms and brown mushrooms. Because the warped fungus isn't really used in brewing, nor is it really found, nor are they found in like swamps or anything. So, but. Oh. Yeah, again, why, why is it crimson and warped mushrooms? Poisonous potatoes, strange mushrooms, diamond chest plate, now I think it. Okay, change them out for red and bra brown mushrooms. Makes more sense. And they're also used in brewing. Uh, Bob Witch leggings. We got red mushrooms and we got crimson mushrooms and diamond leggings. Change them out for. Or oh, I could change them out for never wart. It's never wart, so uh, also used in brewing. Bog witch, brown mushrooms, strain mushrooms, boots. It's the bog witch boots. So you give it what? Right. Bog witch set. Uh, so at one piece, get it poisons nearby enemies. Four pieces gives you immune to poison. And the fungus, which mushrooms grow while still. What? Oh wait, I think it means that if I go stand over here. For, there's somewhere over here for a bit. Let's stand here. Eventually a mushroom should grow. I don't know if moving the camera Counts as not being still. I don't 
Yo no vi Ricky no. I've not seen any mushrooms grow. Oh yeah, mushroom, right there. And another one there. So yeah, if you stand still for a bit, the mushrooms will start growing around you. So there's some in Venenia. Why are you not poison? Oh, there we go. Well, he started getting in poison like way after he got someone in and it was like I'm someone in and wait a minute and then oh now I'm poisoned. Yeah damn it. That rat tall grass was in there I would would have killed him. Come on, you. There we go. Uh, but yeah, poisoning them is is a decent effect, but it, like uh, as you saw there, it did take a while for it to apply to him, so I don't know if that's going to be uh, indicative of like what you're going to be seeing uh, as you uh, if you're wearing this, like. Uh, yes. Also, I want to summon a zombie because I think instead of hitting the zombies, it'll heal them instead. So, some zombie. Hmm, say. Yeah, he's not getting poisoned. Does feel like he's not, yeah, so he's definitely not taking damage. I don't know if he's getting healed. Now, I don't think he's getting healed from it, which is good. But he's definitely not taking damage. Because if he was getting healed from it, that means that all the undead mobs, including the wither boss, would basically have now have a he you know healing free uh, healing. Uh did he also say I can be poisoned? Yeah, toxic immunity. So if I summon a witch. Yeah, you came to be poisoned. So this basically breaks witches because they just keep throwing poison at you until you're poisoned. But you can't be poisoned. It also means that uh, you basically just like torture them because you just, because the poison isn't strong enough to kill them, can't kill them. So, and they'll keep drinking the uh, healing potions over and over, and then you basically just got a torture machine right there. Anyway, uh, what's the Bog Witch's item? So we got the Bog Witch Wand and the Slime Tune. Let's get the word. Baby. Wand. There's four strange mushrooms, two brown mushrooms, two sticks, and a diamond. When you use transform target into a frog. Game mode one, game mode zero. So let's summon. I want to do a little bit of testing this. So let's summon a witch. Boom. Okay, so yeah. That's a green frog, so no. I don't think it takes into account what uh, biome you're in. I think it's always just going to be a green frog over there, or a random frog. Yeah, another green frog. Let's go into the nether. 
And let's see uh, what it turns them to in the nether. Because if it's always just going to change them into one type of frog, then it's not super good. I guess if it's good if you like it not in a, not in a swamp biome. Ow. Why? How? Anyway. Ah, uh, no, so it does change on, depending on biome, because this is a warm biome, so it, she changed into a warm frog. Oh! Okay, so they get, so they get changed into a frog until they get hit. And once they've been hit, they change back. So what if I swam... Oh no, they do change back after a little bit, so it's not permanent. If I swam magma cube... Yeah. Oh, right, so yeah, so they still, so they are actual frogs, so they do still eat the uh, magma cubes to make the uh, frog, -less, frog lights. And you can basically use this to make a frog light farm. But you do, we'll have to like keep changing them back into frogs every now and then. But can I do... Hold on, can I change some... Uh, so let's get a pig. Say I have a pig, can I change the pig? If he stands still, let me try again. Yeah, so you can change passive mobs. So you could just like have a bunch of like pigs or chickens or whatever in it, in it and just like right click them. But uh, the problem with that is that then uh, they change to like whatever biome. So it's not super good for making more fans. But oh, what if? Hold on. So oh wait, you can't get frog. Can you can't get frogs in the bucket? Can you? If you could get frogs in the bucket, that'd be cool. Frog. Yeah, you can't get a frog in the bucket. But could... I don't know how that would work. I don't know if there's like... Although I don't say you could use to uh, make them permanently uh, into a frog. So I'll be back. Anyway, I'm going to be back once, I, once I'm back at spawn. See ya. Be happy. Alright. So, spawn slime toad. Uh, five, six uh, slime balls, uh, uh, two mushrooms, and a strange mushroom. So let's take a look at this little fella. Yeah, he's bigger than I thought. So let's see, bog which items? Slime tube. Uh, craft the slime toad. Spawn item in the slime toad that will occasionally give you slime balls. Lame. It's immortal. Well, that's lame. We don't even bother crafting that. Waste of time. Next up is Dragon Mage. So the collectibles for Dragon Mage. Fire Essence can be dropped from Blazes, Striders and Magma Cubes. Nothing in view. So, the Dragon Mage, Dragon Mage, Dragon Mage, with nice for helmets. Mm -hmm. 
Dragon Mage, so it's four fire essence and four fire charges. Uh, two for the steals for Blaze Ward, fire essence, fire charges, and another I think got. Uh, dragon, 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 yeah, 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 excuse me. Four blaze rods, four fire charges, and four flint steel, four magma cubes. There, not cubes, blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dear me. Right, game mode one. One, two, three, four. So, one armor gives Burning Guard. When struck, return fire. Chance to trigger increases with each piece. And four gives you a fire resistance. This is a bit lame. So, let's summon uh, a zomb. Um, set mid. Also, I have the entire set on. I should be. Im I'm immune to fire. How am I? Okay, I guess I'm just taking damage from the zombie. Oh, let's get another zombie in. Uh, where's the enchanted golden apples? So there should be a chance that they get set on fire. That one was already on fire from. Maybe in daytime earlier, so yeah, he's on fire. I mean, it's a nice little bit of extra damage, but it's nothing that good. And uh, yeah, the Sam is kind of underpowered. Like, you need the entire set just to get fire and resistance. Uh, the slime toad gave me a slime, a single slime ball. Um. So yeah. Uh, what I would do is I would buff this, like, maybe when you, like, when you have the entire set, you can fly, um, and, it, uh, make it so that, um, uh, I don't know, what it was, dragons, uh, uh, uh I don't know. You could probably like come up with something, something else, but this this just needs buffing. It kind of um, not very good, really. Can't, it's it's underwhelming, is what I'm trying to say. It's just underwhelming. Uh, Dragon Mage staff. Uh, Yeah, it doesn't tell you what it does, so I'll just get the star. Dragon Mage staff, it's uh, two magma cubes, two blaze wards, four fire essences, and the diamond. So you right click, uh, it's not very good that you can damage your pets with this. Yeah, other than the fact that it will uh, kill your pets, it's not that bad. Next up is the... For the Dragon Mage pet, you made it a salamander. For the Dragon Mage pet, it's a salamander. Dra Dragon Mage! Mmm! You had it right there! Dragon Mage! How do you get salamander from Dragon Mage? 
Why? Why can't you just give us a cute little baby dragon pet? Why? Ugh. I don't mind I'm hungry for coal. Fair here, I'm here to cook meat. It's a glorified fairness. Two fingers shields, two mango blocks, fire essence. Or you could just make a fairness. Place it down, and it's tiny. When it gets hungry, I can feed it coal, and I never. Why not? Why would I? Why? This is such a shit pet. Like, why? Like, this is by far the second worst. The worst being this big fat idiot. That gives you one slime ball every now and then. Like, come on! This is the second one again. That fucker exists. But if that fucker didn't exist, then this would be the worst. Like, God! Yeah, like, why didn't you just make it? A small, cute, little dragon pet that followed you around and breathed fire on the things that attacked you. And was also immune to fire. Like, come on! That would have been so cool and get in, instead you give us this little shit. I'm not even gonna, you, you're not even worth my fucking time. I mean, I also threw my shovel when I didn't wanna. Just die. Oh, you can't, can't kill ya because it's... Kill. Oh, come on. Kill at E type equals exclamation mark player. I've got the E. There. Literally the worst pet in this entire add-on. And it could have been so much better. They could have made could have been so cool, but no, they just completely fucked it up. Ice Mage. And of course, can't fucking search it because it's just just a fucking. Prismarine, cold essence. Hazard of the sea, prismarine, gas tears. Why? Gas tears! Gas! Live in the never! They have nothing to do with ice! Never I think it. Cold essence. Powder snake. Why gas tears again? Why is this a repeating thing? Snowballs, cold essence. All right, let's see. Stops enemies when hit, chance to trigger, increase of HP, walk on water, slew fall. Slow fall's nice because that means you don't take full damage. It basically has uh, 
Frostwalker. Which there is a reason why people don't use Frostwalker, and it's because it's not a very good uh, in general. It, you, you know, as a benefit for this, it's not too bad, and it's also not like the Frosted Eyes, it's an actual proper ice. You could use this as, uh, to get a bunch of ice if you need ice. Well, the problem, thing, the problem is with it though, is that um, the slow fall makes it so you can sprint one. What does this work if I'm in a boot? If I get a boat and I sit in the boot, yeah, but it's not quite fast enough. And you end up just being slowed down. Like if I did a bigger area and it was a bit quicker, then this would actually be good for like uh, going over the oceans, because then you could just like freeze at the water in front of you. And, uh, uh, you know, not have, and you could go really fast. But kind of doesn't work. Because, well, without it, because it's just too small of an area, and it takes so long for it to fill, uh, too long to, for it to fill the ice in. Also, like, make it, like, prioritize, maybe, like, make it prioritize uh, setting ice in front of the player, rather than, like, around the player and they're, they're behind the player. Oh, no, it's not too bad, it's just kind of lame compared to some of the others. I mean, obviously it's not the worst one, but because it does have genuine uses other than just being there, but it's just better. Uh, yeah. Huh. I know it's melting ice had an animation. Anyway. Um let's move on to the last couple of items in here. So we've got Ice Mage and Snow Leopard. Ice Mage Staff and Snow Leopard. Nice meat stuff and a new leopard. Four cold essence snowballs. That I forgot to check what the uh, where you get the cold essence from. Drowned guardians, glow squids, and polar bears. You, when you swim an ice wall. So... I mean, why? Well, I guess if there's a skeleton, like... Oh, and it's also permanent ice, so I guess it's just like... Get some free ice from it. But if I... Some... Scary ton. And I place an ice wall there. And he's gonna come around here and I can just whack him with this. But it's not really that useful, like. There's been other weapons in this add-on that have... Oh, no, they're not, it's not permanent. They do eventually go away. So you can mine this, and yeah, it gives you normal eyes. But 
They could probably silk touch it and get uh, ice blocks. But well, it's not really that useful. Also, I should set the time today. Time set. Day. So, what was the other one? Snow Leopard? Snow Leopard. No leopard like a snow leopard. So it's six snowballs, two cold essence, powdered snow, snow leopard. Well, that's disappointing. It's tiny. Well, it's gonna be big and cool, but no, it's small. Snow leopard. Uh, right, and um, the snow leopard that will hunt and occasionally catch. Ugh. You just go down there. And that's the end of the video, because there's nothing else to show off, so yeah. What do you think of the add-on? There's some cool stuff in it, but a lot, there's a bunch of stuff that's just pointless, basically. Oh, you can't, you can't die. Uh, that's basically just pointless. Pointless, and I don't know why you'd want to craft it, and so, yeah, there's cool armors, but some of the armors are just... Again, basically useless and not worth the time it would take to get the materials to craft it, especially considering that each entire set needs a, needs one Neverite ingot. And some set need, some sets are like one of them needed to the Echo Shards, which, uh, yeah, I'd rather get a Neverite ingot than the four Echo Shards. Like, yeah, yeah. Um. But there are some cool sets and it's just like kind of... It, it's a decent add but it's just, it's just not, it's just, hit, it's very hit or miss. And Average Year All Out is a very mid add-on, like, there's some cool stuff, there's some not cool stuff, and uh, there's some stuff that's just not very cool, but not really uncool, it's just kind of mid, all in all. In my opinion, but yeah, let, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!